coolest thing about this truck is not only does it run on diesel fuel, it also runs on used vegetable oil. If there's ever that magical opportunity where there's a Prius in front of me and behind me, now I can ram both of them. It's gonna be great. pre-filter the oil before I put it in the truck. It has a 7.3 liter Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. I painted a lot of the parts green because I like green. <laughs> it looks cool, right? A buddy and I built this truck from basically the ground up. It started out as a Triton V8 and we converted it over to run on, uh, or we swapped the engines and, and put a 7.3 in it, diesel engine. And the coolest thing about this truck is not only does it run on diesel fuel, it also runs on used vegetable oil. That right there is where the spare tire used to go. Now it's 44 gallons of used vegetable oil. That tank came out of a, a, uh, an old Ford excursion. So I can haul vegetable oil there. The filler neck runs right there for the vegetable oil. And that is the diesel tank right there. Now this truck is a work in progress. There's a lot left to do. Like for example, I'm gonna be putting a cover over the back of the truck so I can keep the inside uh, dry in inclement weather. So whatever, if I may be hauling something that needs to stay dry or I might be camping out in the back. So I've got four feet by eight feet of space back here in the back where I can stretch out very comfortably. Recently put this great big old beefy bumper on the back. This was actually, this bumper, <laughs> used to actually be the back of a flatbed truck and I had to chop off chop off the ends cut about nearly two feet off of it it was too wide and weld on my buddy actually did the welding here my buddy Jason does a really good job of fabrication and he welded these ends back on so now it's a complete bumper and it's extra sturdy it costs 300 bucks to get a stock bumper when those are pretty wimpy um, and it was about a little over $600 to get this bumper from the company called Move. And this thing is rock solid. I mean, you could crush a Prius with that, no problem at all. If there's ever that magical opportunity where there's a Prius in front of me and behind me, now I can ram both of them. It's going to be great. <laughs> Installed significantly larger tires. These are 35s. 35s all the way around. So I have a spare tire, but it's huge and inconvenient to carry currently. I don't have a place to put it. It, can't, it can no longer go under there because that's where I haul the diesel or the vegetable oil. So I'm working on fabricating some sort of swinging arm right here that's gonna hold the spare tire. And that will probably, hopefully double as my tailgate as well. So I can maybe remove this and have something that swings out and holds that, holds that spare tire. Just haven't done that yet. It's on the list. Tons of space for the fam. I have three kids, a wife and three kids, and a mangy mutt <laughs> that usually prefers to ride in the truck. But um, this truck has plenty of space for us to, to get in here and the kids aren't sitting on top of one another, which is nice. This truck does not have a center console and that was by design. I removed that on purpose because I wanted to have more space. 
And center consoles are just basically a place where stuff goes to die anyways. You know how it is. You get stuff piled up in there and you never, ever, never be able to get to it. But I keep my pack right here in the middle between the two, um, two front seats. I keep my Grail water filter outside so I can take that in and out so it doesn't freeze overnight. And I've done a video on the contents of the pack. But I also keep um, my sleeping bag in here. And I don't keep it in my pack because I don't want it to be compressed. It's a down bag and I want to make sure it stays lofty and loose. There's a sleep pad, an inflatable sleep pad in here that stays in the back seat for the most part. Unless the kids are riding and then I'll jam it in the back. I've got a spare coat, a wool coat. And then underneath my pack... I also have just a towel and then I've got a wool blanket here because it is winter time and it's nice to have extra warming layers if needed. I keep a fire extinguisher right behind the uh, seat in the back seat here, ready to go. I don't know why all truck beds aren't utility beds, toolbox beds like this one. It's so convenient. You have so much space to keep all your junk, all your gear, all of your tools, and it doesn't interfere with what you have in the back of the truck, the actual bed portion of the truck. So I, I don't, I mean, it's so handy. It's so nice to have. In this first compartment here, I just got kind of some miscellaneous camping gear and whatnot. Um, there's a bag full of goodies here. This has like tent stakes in it, some fishing supplies, an extra knife or two in there. This is a fairly comprehensive first aid kit, a trauma kit from um, Refuge Medical. Got a couple extra ponchos, a hammock. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, I've got some canteen cups, a Sawyer mini water filter, extra canteen, some TP that needs to go in a Ziploc bag, another water bottle, a few, a few trash bags for various purposes. The center compartment here, I've got a frying pan, some coffee, a bag of salt, some, some basic utensils, my stove, some rags, some shop rags to clean up, coffee pot, fuel for the stove and this is a bunch of food water bottle random water bottle some sunflower seeds and then a bunch of mountain house meals and this is just a bag of almonds in here i've just got a five gallon jerry can full of water just fresh water ready to go there's better ways to do it but this is the lowest tech easiest way obviously i could rig up some sort of permanently fixed water tank of some sort and i may do that eventually i thought about actually doing that in the rear bumper just haven't got to that yet. It's still still in the fabrication uh, planning process. But In this compartment, I've got bungee cords, I've got ratchet straps, and then I've got a tow chain, big chain here. I think this is probably 25 feet long, maybe, might be longer actually, um, but a real heavy duty chain so I can help pull people out of the ditches or people can pull me out of the ditch if needed. In this big middle compartment here, I've got a couple of camp chairs. It's nice to not have to sit on the dirt. Some basic camp tools, shovel, machete, axe. In the wintertime, I'll often put my um, chainsaw in here because trees are down all the time and blocking roads, so it's nice to have a chainsaw. But for small stuff, the axe or the machete usually gets the job done. Here's an inverter that I plan on installing, a 2,000 watt inverter. And basically my truck will be a mobile generator for the most part. I'll be able to plug in basic tools, saws, and that kind of thing. And it'll be just really, really convenient to have that. Wrench set, um, impact, small little impact. I've got screwdrivers, pliers, basic tool stuff in here, zip ties, things of that nature. Just, just general, general tool stuff. And then I've got a full ratchet socket set right there some jumper cables miscellaneous like i said we built this truck from the ground up it was stripped completely of all electronics all wiring harnesses everything and i've basically touched every single part of this truck in one way or another and this is this the miscellaneous leftover nuts and bolts and stuff that that come in handy from time to time when working on it spare battery and charger for the impact some cleaning wipes after you've been got your hands all greasy I can of fix a flat which once I get that inverter in here I'm probably gonna invest in a small pump so I can uh, I'll be able to inflate some tires if necessary uh, what else do we have in here some water shield this is I'm gonna spray my pack with this miscellaneous tapes 
this is some duct tape, some electrical tape, and then my favorite is the Zip Systems flashing tape. That stuff is amazing. It'll practically pull your fingerprints off in the, uh, <laughs> in the summertime when it's warm. Just some rags because, you know, rags are handy. And here's some engine oil, diesel engine oil, and then just some miscellaneous parts that I have yet to work on, some air conditioning stuff. I may eventually invest in a winch that I can mount on the front bumper or the rear hitch, but I just haven't got to that yet. It's on the list of things to do, but it'd be, it's just convenient to have, be able to put, put the winch on the front or the back, just depending on the situation on a tight trail. Sometimes you just having a permanently fixed winch to the front of the truck just isn't, isn't as convenient as being able to move it around. I wanted something very practical very useful not just some jacked up monster truck that just all flash and, and no go um i wanted it to be used for i want to be able to use it for anything and everything from camping adventures with the family and kids to cross-country trips to um just a general work truck just everyday use like for example just did a remodel project in my in my kitchen and there we were hauling hauling off some drywall from the job and my kids thought it was a wonderful idea to do some finger painting with the drywall dust real nice you know i thought about beating them but it's frowned upon in our society but it's a mess i didn't clean up the truck my truck's dirty because i used the truck a lot of people are freaking out about diesel shortages and prices and all that stuff and that's one of the main motivations behind building this truck and and adapting it to run on used vegetable oil. It is kind of a pain in the butt to, to acquire the vegetable oil and, and filter it and, and make it work, but it sure as heck beats paying five, six plus dollars a gallon for diesel fuel um, in today's economy. And it sure as heck beats being stuck if there is no diesel fuel at all. I keep a radio in the passenger door along with an antenna for it. And one of these dealies that will allow you to tap into the water supply in a more urban area. And a flask. This is empty, I promise. I'm supposed to give this to a buddy, but I just haven't done it yet. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one.